Hello, my peeps. Oh, sorry, I am 15 minutes late and I don't even have a good reason. Um, my, my, well, I guess my reason, I do have a reason. Uh, my reason is I totally lost track of time. Um, I have a lot going on. My um, order from the new catalog just got here. Uh, trying to get out onto the step to, um, to get to the order involves wrestling with the dog to not run out the door. And so it, I was trying to have it ready, but it wasn't working. And then the printer went and then, and I was just trying so hard to finish. <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't going as well, but I'm here now. It's Tracy for show and tell Tracy, show and tell Tracy, show and tell with Tracy. <laughs> um, and I have just a bunch of this and that to show everybody. I am uh, wondering why this is not working. Trying to get my comments to come up. Sorry, the the, the um, age old issue of where are the comments and why won't they show? Uh, don't know. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> um, okay, so while I'm while I'm fighting with that and seeing if I can make that work better, today is the last day for the what month are we in? May paper pumpkin kit, which is called celebrating in color. And I have mentioned this before. Oh my goodness, do I ever love the in new in colors. Um, bright, vibrant, oh my gosh, I just love them. So this kit is two cards of each of the styles. Plus they have little pieces of, of uh, cardstock that are especially cut and folded and pro probably have adhesive on them already. Um, so you can add them in to make them into gift card holders if you want. The kind of this ombre effect. Um, these would be good neutral cards, I think. They're not super floral or super, you know, something. Um, so I, something tells me that that means they, they probably work for everybody. So today is the last day. Now, moments before I was going on, um, did I mention I was fighting with the printer? Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't print anything else off. This is last time's paper, but um, Sarah Douglas, the CEO of Stampin' Up! is going to do a kit together with this kit next, I believe it's Wednesday's the 18th, right? Let me just double check my little calendar, yes. So next Wednesday at four in the afternoon, uh, it's handy that Utah is in the same time zone as us. So when they say mountain time, they're talking the same as us. Um, so four in the afternoon, she's gonna do a kit, a kit together with this, which just means everybody gets online, brings their kits and, uh, crafts together she'll tell you little tidbits she'll show you tips it's a fun way to do it and and the comments during it are always lots of fun to look at um if uh, i would imagine hers will just be a facebook live i think that's how she's done the past ones um if there's enough interest though or if people want to be able to chat during it even though it is virtual uh let me know because i can i can fire up a zoom so you can have you know half the screen on her and half the screen on a zoom and those of us in the zoom can all chat so still fighting with my computer. My computer technology in general is so temperamental. Um, oh, there we go. I think I might've finally got it to work. Um, okay. I think it did. I think it did. Woo, celebrate. Okay. So as you know, new catalog is out. Dun, dun, dun. Um, oh. There's so much goodness that comes in an annual catalog. And this is why I was trying so hard to get my order ready. Unfortunately, he, the, the UPS guy doesn't get here till usually the, you know, five or six. Um, the, when I get my paper pumpkin, I usually get it by lunchtime. But unfortunately, UPS is, is supper time. Um, one of the good things about the annual catalog is there's lots of staples in here, right? I can actually know. I can actually open this down and show you guys things. So, oh. Funny enough, this is what the one I'm going to show you tonight. Um, so there's lots of cool new stamp sets and bundles and cool things. Um, one thing I will tell you when you are looking through, actually, this might be where it shows it. Yep. When you are looking through your catalog, always look at the stuff up top. And so this set was in last year's Christmas catalog and it carried forward to this year. So you might just kind of breeze by this page, but don't breeze by this page because the, up here in the corner, it says, Cracker and treat box dies. So you see all these cool little Christmas crackers? Well, they've come out with the die and there's all sorts of little bits and pieces that go with it um, to make these. Now you can, you can make them with just a piece of paper and a scoreboard, but they're not nearly as nicely finished and they're a little bit of a 
measuring pain. So this I'm, I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah, a lot of the there's a lot of standalone dyes and a lot of new treat holders and a, and a couple new tool like things. And they just sort of show up in with the pictures. Right. And then when you get to the back, when you get to the kind of the tool section, you'll see them. But as you're going through, don't miss out on some of these things because there's lots of cool stuff in here. Um, there's masking paper, which I'm very excited about. Because you know how you try to do all those fancy techniques with with um, stickies, which is great. Stickies are awesome. Um, but there's only sticky on like a little chunk of it. Well, these are the entire sheet is like basically one big sticky, um, which means it will hold so much better. Oh, can't wait. Um, I can't remember what page it's all on. There's new note cards. You know how I have my love of note cards. They're back to the craft ones. I love craft. You can do lots of cool things with craft paper. I'm trying to make this focus. There we go. And these ones come in a, in a cool little tin, which means they'll make a great gift, right? So you could decorate up the note cards, put them in the in the card box, put a nice little ribbon and a tag on it. Boom, give somebody with a bunch of cards. Um, oh my goodness, with the embellishments. There's so many. This is So this is my order that came in. It was going to be so much fun to look at because it was going to be embellishments and treat holders. And I can't find all of them in here. Um, dies. This is what I am most excited about, I think. See that punch there? The decorative circle punch. I am so excited about the punch, that shape, and, and how easy it was going to be for... Oh, I'm so excited. One of my one of my things I was trying to get ready for tonight is not quite finished because I was waiting on that. Um, but I just, yeah, I just didn't have time to get to it. Anyways, new catalog. So much goodness. So many cool things to order. So there's ways to do it. Like, I mean, you could you could just, you know, take out a second mortgage and order the entire catalog, and that would be the way to go. Not many people could do that. So with the in-color club. And I did have all this stuff here, but I think I've lost it now. Um, as you can tell, I've used this stuff. So with the In Color Club, though, there's cardstock, there's ink pads, there's blends, there's markers to get all the new stuff that coordinate. And they coordinate so well together. Um, that one I've used twice, so it's kind of a smaller piece there. But uh, um, these are the new patterns of DSP. And uh, I just love them. Just love them. Stripes, dots, flowers, plaid. Uh, and it's in each color, you get four of each. There is, um, um, yep, that word will come to me. Shimmer paper, ombre shimmer paper that is the same. I'm going to pull this out and may never get it back in the bag again. In each of the different colors. Oh, and this Stampin' Up! Glimmer paper is awesome because it doesn't shed glimmer everywhere. Because if you know me for very long, you'll know I do not like glimmer. I do not want that stuff in my house or anywhere. Um, this stuff's pretty good. So there's packages of that. There's, like I said, inkers, markers, all the other stuff. So if you'd like a way to get all of that, but it's kind of spread out the cost. And in a way, it's kind of exciting because we make cards and we have little Zoom meetings and you get like one color a month. And, um, you know, maybe a little extra something, something in the bag when you get it. That's a surprise. So you have, you know, more stuff to play with. Um, but there's a way to do that. That's the In Color Club. So instead of spending, um, what did I figure it out? I figured it all out. It was over $400, but, um, or just, just under $400, I think. Because for this club, instead, you can pay $80 for five months, get one color a month, plus you'll get PDFs or, and cards, like bits to make other cards. Um, you'll get a celebration item during celebration. You'll get some stamp and rewards, so you can buy some extra stuff to, for your crafting, um, all sorts of cool things. And it's, it's just like a little club. There's me and five people, and because there's five colors, um, or groups of five, I guess. And you can have it like you and four of your friends or just five new friends. Um, so there's a way to do that. So that's one way you get a bunch of stuff out of the catalog without having to pay for it all at once. Um, but I am going to tell you, and I, and I know I've talked about this before, and not everybody wants to be um, a Stampin' Up! demo. I've knocked my camera and it's driving me nuts. Um, or like have a business of it. That's totally fine. I love it. It's not for everybody. I get that. But here's the thing you need to know. Whether you're going to be have a business or whether you just want a really good deal on craft supplies, the starter kit is absolutely the best way to go. And in the month of May, they have a sale going. So I realize now, as I said, my printer was not being very friendly. But you can see on there, in color grid paper, which is, you know, the paper you work on. And I have seen people make stuff out of the grid paper, but it is meant to be like the paper you work on. 
um, a pack of cardstock. So there's four sheets of each of the five colors in that pack, the full size ink pads of all the new colors and the DSP of all the new colors. So this stuff right here is worth $91.25. So this is the bonus right now in May if you buy the starter kit. So you're thinking, wow, that must be a good deal, right? If I buy the starter kit, I get an extra $91.25 for free. <laughs> it is. It's awesome. <laughs> but here, but let me show you some math. We'll do some quick math and I will show you. Um, even without this, the starter kit's the best deal ever. This just made it unbelievably good. So let's say you looked at your new catalog and you found $116 in new product, which believe me, not hard to do. So many good things in there. On that, you are going to pay $12.76 for shipping. Because with this new catalog, well, April 1st, it wasn't just the new catalog. Shipping went out to 10.95 or, 10 or 11%. Then you're going to pay your um, GST on that because no matter what, you're going to pay GST. This comes out to $135.20. Okay, so keep that number in mind, 135.20. I feel like a teacher right now. So this is for $116 worth of product. You will pay $135.20. Now here's the beauty of the starter kit. The starter kit costs $135 flat rate. Flat rate. That means no tax, no shipping. You get charged $135, period. So for that $135, you get to pick $165 in product. So right off the bat, win, right? Because this $135 and this $135, the difference in product is $116 and $165. So right off the bat, that is a win. But with the starter kit and this flat rate, you also get a paper pumpkin kit, which is um, with the, with the price increase that was, I think, the first of March. There was the, the bunch of, every few years, every, we get price increases, and every one of them was a different month. So now I can't 100% remember. Um, a paper pumpkin kit's worth about 35 bucks now. Uh, you do get, I want to say $55 worth, let's say, in business supplies. Now, we'll come back to the business supplies, because for so, if, if you're looking at this and you're like, me, I don't want to, I don't want to do the business, I don't need the business supplies, then maybe that's not as, as big of a thing. But Actually, we'll do it right now. This includes some envelopes, which you can use to mail things because that's what everybody else does. They just flip the envelope over. There's writing on one side, but they're big, nice, big, white, heavy duty envelopes. You just flip it over, use the other side to add, address things too. Um, there's some order forms. There's some postcards, um, which are just a great way to like take messages, like just use them as note paper if you want to. Um, but you get a box of catalogs as well. So right now you would get a box of the new annual catalog. So you can hand that out to a bunch of your friends, eight of your friends, you get eight catalogs in a box. And maybe maybe you would just wanna help them order some stuff, or maybe you guys just wanna all talk about crafting. But you can hand that out to eight friends. You will also get eight of the new um, mini catalog. The, well, it's not, I guess it's not the new one, it's the one that runs till the end of June. You'll get eight of those, right? So you can hand them out. Even if you don't hand them out, they are full of ideas and pictures and you can cut them out you can save sketches. I have a whole stack of things that when I get rid of my catalog at the end of the year, when a new one comes out, I will like rip out chunks and save the sketches of cards that I like because you can take any material and switch it out. I'll show you two cards made with this, with the same layout and two different two different color schemes and, and products. Um, so yeah, you, there's lots to get. So there is value in there. And even if, and if you don't want it, recycle it, give it to me. I will find a business person who does want it. That's things you can do. Plus now, you get the 9125 in all of these in color things. So what are we up to? 165, 170, 2, 255. I'm trying to do math live. 255, what is that? 246 or 346? I think that's what it comes to. 346.25. I shouldn't have tried to do that in my head. <laughs> let's, let's just cheat and, uh, and, and because somehow 346 seems high, but, but actually maybe not because, um, $91, man, free, $91 worth of free stuff. It's crazy. Oh, look at me go. I can't believe it. I actually did that out loud, live, in my head, and uh, I actually got the right number. Okay, 
So 346.25, I knew it was a good number. I just didn't realize I should add it up so you could see the total. So this is, so this is, this is your options. You want to buy some new stuff out of the new catalog. You get $116 worth of stuff and you pay $135 for it. Or you get $346 worth of stuff and you pay $135 for it. And even if you minus out this 55, this is much easier math because this works out to 200. You can get of just like actual product itself. You can get 291.25, right? And if you want to take out the paper pumpkin kit, you're still getting like $260 or more of actual catalog product for the same 135 as you would if you just ordered $116. So this is for May. The starter kit is available all the time. The 135 and all of this that comes with it, that's an all the time thing. This 9125 is just for the month of May. So if you got your shopping list ready and you need any help and you need me to give you the math lesson, trust me, starter kit, way to go. All right, that's it for today's teaching. <laughs> Teaching, preaching. I will preach all the time about how good the starter kit is because I love it. Okay, I, uh, as I said, I was having issues with my printer, not wanting to print anything. My printer is technology and technology and I, we just, we just don't see eye to eye on things lately. So somewhere I had a class schedule on my desk. I have buried it in other products. So I tried to print another one and it wouldn't print. But I have four classes coming up. I've scheduled them one a month for the next four months. So the first one is coming up on 4th of June. Let me just double check and make sure that's Saturday night. <laughs> because now that I said it, I'm thinking, or is it the 5th? 4th of June, Saturday night's all right for crafting. <laughs> I don't even know who sings that original song that, that just popped into my head. Okay, so the plan is, yes, are you ready for it? In-person crafting, that's what we're talking. So I'm going to give it a shot. Now, thanks to um, Rascal, who is the cutest, fluffiest, most lovable and entertaining puppy ever. Um, he is also a mouthful of razor blades and no self-control. Um, but thanks to him, I've decided that uh, I'm going to do it at the leisure center. Now, I was kind of questioning about back in the house, not as much space. So I was kind of debating, but for right now, we're going to do it at the leisure center because those rooms are nice and big and we can spread out and it will feel less claustrophobic, not just for me, but for anybody else who might feel the same, a little bit more work in room. It's also when you're crafting, the more space you have, the better, right? So I mean, my house is only so big. So what we're going to do is we're going to try some crafting, just some in-person stuff. We'll see how it goes. I don't think, knock on wood, any, anything dramatic is going to change that. Um, the first one up, is, and I'm doing them. I'm doing them all a little bit different. So I'm gonna. I will make a take a picture of this and post it afterwards, with the uh, the details. For the most part, we're just gonna get together, make five cards. Hey Mary, I'm gonna try to keep it simple, so that it's like just it because it's as much about the socializing and the get together as it is anything else. Um, we're gonna try to make five cards with whatever the theme is, and that, and that's kind of how I work. Right now, Father's Day is coming up. I didn't, I had too much going on the last couple of months and I didn't have my stuff in time that I could have done this for Mother's Day. But I think I have it for Father's Day or even just birthdays that are coming up or anniversaries or whatever you want to get. Sky cards. Um, and then we will do one with kind of more, you know, flowery cards. And then we're going to do August. Last time I did um, the holiday head start so people could get some August uh, Christmas craft again. For anybody who's got overseas, long distance, anything like that, or just needs to get their stuff done early, it was a great time to do it. And then back into September, and I and I wish I had time to unpack all the stuff. There is the cutest little set in there, a bear set. Um, oh, I just love the bear in it. That we're gonna do in September, we're gonna do kind of some fall cards, some you know just sort of general card cards, thank yous, um, and then. I will, I get the Christmas catalog will be coming out fairly soon. So I'll be able to start planning the Christmas stuff. We've got a Christmas extravaganza going. Um, we've got our retired product sale coming up. So there's lots of things that will be happening that I'll be posting on. Um, right now, I just wanted to get the next few classes out so people could start planning. Um, it's either a Saturday night, which means from six to nine at night, 
or it's a Sunday afternoon, which means from one to four in the afternoon. And it was pointed out to me that when I sent that poster out, I didn't actually put a time on it. I only put a date on it. But I figured that I'm going to post actual pictures of what we're doing. So I will, I will correct that then. So like I said, it'll be a slightly different each time. So this is a stamp set we're using for the next one. It's called He's All That. It's got some very cute little things in here. Um, it's got these awesome dies. Now you think, wow, that's different because most of these dies are label dies that fit with this. But there's some of these little flag dies. Oops, I'm off the thing. These little flag dies and these little diamonds. Extravaganza! Yes, Nancy. I can't wait. I can't wait for the Christmas catalog just so we can start talking about our Christmas extravaganza. Um, these little diamond thingy-me-jiggies, awesome. This, these little guys for flags and stuff to make backgrounds and that, they're fantastic. So this die set seems fairly simple, but it's cool. It's very cool. So this is the set we're gonna be using like that way. And because um, like this one says happy, oops, happy birthday. <laughs> um, I have a different chair tonight as well. And it's in a different spot and it doesn't have wheels on it. Um, and so I'm finding I'm not sitting as close to my desk. And so now I have to kind of lean forward with everything or I keep going off screen. Um, so if, yeah, if you didn't want, if you were doing a different theme and you want to say happy birthday, but you don't want the car, I will have a couple sets available that'll just say happy birthday, like just general sentiment sets to go with all of this stuff. But for the most part, you'll have a choice of that or a couple other stamp sets to use. And then each person who registers for the class is going to start with, and mine are slightly used, but um, a package of these metallic dots. Oops, there's two different sizes there. These things are, are yummy. Sometimes with the embellishments, they get a little big and I'm not a fan, but these are the perfect size. And there is, let's say there's 90 of them. So that must be 45 of each size. So I did it again. And then <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up with some clever Britney Spears thing instead of saying, oops, I did it again. And then you're all going to get a half a package of the DSP that comes with this suite. And the reason that everybody's getting a half a package is one, to make the cards. So here's the DSP. There's a lovely camping theme. There's this cool diamond theme. There is a car theme. There is a looking sharp clothing theme. And there is a barbecue theme. Now, the funny thing, when I first saw this, now I work in forestry, so I can tell you that most of the guys I know <laughs> this, this camping one would apply to. But there, I know, I mean, my brother-in-law, best barbecue ever. Uh, one of the guys I work with, definitely sharp-dressed man. Uh, my uncle, car guy all the way. Actually, both my nephews, I think, are, get, are quite the car guys, too. Um, so, like, I, I see these, and I could just, I can see people right off the bat who these would go for, for whatever it is. So there's five sheets of DSP that we're going to use for the cards, and you'll see in a minute. And then everybody's getting one of these sheets. Now, each pack comes with two. So basically, two people are splitting one of these things of paper. I'm trying to do this without dropping them all. So each one of these die cuts, or each one of these sheets, is full of die cuts that pop out. And as you can see, there is sentiments, there is little... Um, embellishments there's cute little things this car is awesome the vw van um this one looks oops, looks like a torn piece out of a um, notebook like these are just awesome i i made some card samples to show you and i didn't even use all of these pieces so between all of the stuff that we're going to do um you will have more than enough to make this and probably still have leftovers but i will so you'll get this. So you'll start with your half a pack of paper and this, and then I will have all the card bases and envelopes and everything just there. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to make three because you're going to have leftover DSP, but, but with guys, sometimes guys are harder to shop for. I find the easiest thing to do is to give them a gift card. So we're going to make three of these gift card holders. And when I say three, you can make as many as you want, but I'm basically going to cut enough of these like inside labels and stuff out for everybody to make three with this. Super easy. You can get three of them out of a pack, out of one sheet of paper, but I would imagine you'll make various different ones. And then um, whatever different embellishments you have left. And if, you, if you've used all your like die cuts by the time you get to here, there's all of these two, or if you just pr prefer the sentiments on here, there's all of these, which all have a die to go with them. So you can always make that. There'll be lots of easy ways to make some kind of an outside sentiment on here. My brother-in-law, the barbecuing champ. This will likely be, you know, 
M&M gift card or something so he can buy barbecue stuff. So we'll be making three of those gift cards and then five cards. So well, basically what we're gonna do here, just a minute, this is gonna start to get very busy in a minute. So how about I move that out of the way? Move that out of the way. Uh, your furry friend is about to come and join me. Let's hope he does it quietly. So here's one of the layouts. Uh, and it says, cheers to all your years. Uh, I have a nephew. I, I like to call him my nephew-in-law. He's married to my niece. Um, well, thank you, Nancy. Yeah, the, the gift card thing, it's so, it's, um, and it's a fun way to do it because the DSP is fun on both sides. So it, you know, a little nicer. Um, yeah, so my nephew-in-law <laughs> uh, is a beer connoisseur. He likes beer, different draft beer and adventures. So that actually made me think of him when I saw that. Totally my uncle. Uh, this is a different card layout. Uh, again, my brother-in-law, funny enough, this card when I was making it, I, I was putting these down. I was trying to decide which one I wanted. And when I laid them out like that, I'm like, oh, I like it with all three of them on there. So I just left all three of them on there. Um, this is one of my favorites, probably because I love the color, because I'm a four stranger. So, you know, I love the outdoors, but I just, I love that. I love that van. Many a day I've been tempted to buy a camper van like that and just take off. Um, you'll notice these, this is one of the die cuts that I cut in half so that it was long enough to stick out either side. But there's also die cuts in the kit so you can make little like banner pieces that stick out. So that was my little camping adventure. And then this was, this was, uh, and, and with the die cuts in the kit, you can also like embellish, oops, sorry. I don't know how many times I'm going to do that tonight. You can also embellish the envelopes and inside the cards. So, and this one just says looking sharp on the outside. So depending what you wanted this for, it could say, congratulations, happy birthday, happy retirement, you know, whatever on the inside. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these cards laid out and I'm gonna have all the measurements of the paper cut and I will have whatever other little bits and pieces you need to have cut. I will have that ready. And then you get to pick which DSP, which die cut combination you want. So if you, if you would rather use three camping pictures here with a camping thing behind, easy enough to do. You just know that this is the size you cut because you have a sheet of each of the DSP so you can make it however you want. So in, for the example of this one, this is the looking sharp. Well, here's the same card with the camping theme, right? I just cut different things and put different die cuts on it. This is actually um, one of the Cajun craze uh, stars that is in the die cut that I flipped over and now it's white. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so it's whatever you want. If you wanna make everyone, if you like this particular layout, which is very similar to my Monday challenge layout, if you'll look at this card, and this wasn't even the one I was referring to. When I was referring to it, I had actually designed this layout to go with the teacups. <laughs> and then when I was making this card, I'm like, oh, I like that layout. I'm going to make it again. So this layout, a couple of different embellishments. If this is the one you like, make all your cards this way. You could easily make this card this way, right? Just cut a strip and then you'd have to choose between one of these three things. But like this one here that says you're flipping awesome. I love that. So take a piece of this, put it down this, right? You could do that layout. Um, this car is a little bit bigger, but it would still fit across there. Or you could do the layout this way, right? So you'll have the choice to like modify your layouts however you want, depending which, which of the themes you like the best. But you'll be able to make easily your five cards. <laughs> and oh, there we go. I was going to say, and with more of the DSP and die cuts, um, three of these gift card holders. Ta -da. So that's what that's what's going to be included in this class. So I will take some pictures. <clears throat> you can copy the cards exactly. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have no problem with that. Um, I just know I like to, you know, have a little bit of say in what I pick. And I know some of my regular crafters like that too. So you can exactly copy these cards. Everything will be there for you and and with like I said, all the measurements. Or you can choose to switch up the papers and die cuts however you want. So that's the first one coming up. The second one which I'll be quite honest with you, I have forgotten the date of, um, but I can tell you it's in July. Um, we are going to use the teacup suite. Um, and I can't show you all the pieces because I'm like mid project with that and they're, they're all buried in somewhere else and doing things. But um, because I, like I said, I want to make this easy for people. Um, I want you to be able to leave with five cards. I want you to have a nice good time. You can all socialize, you can all catch up on everybody because it has been far too long since everybody has hung out together. Um, and at the end, you'll go away with five awesome cards. So in this case, we're going to use 
these um, memories of more cards. They're not called memories of more cards. These are just um, usually the pre ones of that. Sorry, these are just specially made to go with this suite. And you will notice that these are the new in colors. So they're the nice, they're so awesome, vibrant colors. <clears throat> there is, and so you basically the five cards you make, you're going to get one of each of these. So there is Starry Sky, Parakeet Party. Uh, this is a test, Sweet Sorbet. And you'll notice each one of these has a slightly different pattern. Turquoise Tide, I think that one's called. All of a sudden, I've forgotten the name of it. And Orchid Oasis. Um, I just buried them all over there. Now, the one thing I will have ready, because these are all cool patterns, and I love these bright colors together. Um, the envelopes all have flowers on them. Now, they're very cool, and they go very well with the sweets. But should you want to make these cards without the flower, I will have just plain um, white envelopes that you can just swap out as well. Because your other option is you can keep the envelope, put it on different color cardstock or white cardstock, and here's your own DSP or like this would make a cool border. If you imagine a white card, like just white cardstock, like this, with this as your, right? I like that. Put a sentiment in the middle. It's cool. So if you want to switch out some of the pieces, but for what for the projects we're doing, these envelopes will work just perfectly fine. I flipped over the card. So that's what you're going to get with the, the tea boutique one is. We're going to start with five of these, so you don't even have to you don't even have to cut your own card base and don't have to do anything like that. We're just going to start with five. The envelopes are already decorated for you. Um, I can show you this because um, it was on my desk already, but this is the tea boutique suite that I'm talking about, right? And there's paper that comes with it. It is all awesome. Um, I will explain one day why I'm not showing everything from that suite, uh, what project I'm on, but this awesome suite. So that's what we're going to make with that one. Um, said I don't have the other one. So each time it's going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a picture ahead of time saying, here's what you get as part of your fee. Here's the sample projects, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can make. Now, because I have to order some of this stuff sometimes, I have, I have enough to make samples. I do not have enough for six or eight people in a class. So I need, I have, I have uh, RSP deadlines so that I have enough time to order. Now, should something happen, I will figure out a way to, to adjust accordingly if things don't get here in time. But I think I've got it lined up the right way. The, if you wanna, if you know ahead of time that you wanna go to all the classes, tell me that ahead of time, I'll order all the stuff at once, then we don't have to worry about anything running out. But if you're not sure and you wanna do it one class at a time, that's totally fine as well. Um, I just wanna make sure I have enough time to give people. So this one is the 16th of May which is Monday. I'm putting the order in on Monday. So I need to know by Monday who wants to come to this class. I have a couple of people already. So I'm getting the order ready as, as people RSVP. Um, but I need to know if you wanna to come to this class. And then I will repost this um, each one of the classes as I finish the samples, because some of them I didn't even have the stuff to do the samples with <laughs> until my order came today. Um, but I will post the samples on a separate post saying, this is the class, this is the price, this is what you get, here's the RSVP. So I was getting, I put my little poster out and I was getting lots of questions. Sorry, I should have started at that point maybe. So I thought I'm going to explain things a little bit better. But is this not like a fun looking sweet? You know, I'll take that dots out of the middle. Um, I, I love this. I am not the girliest of girls. So I can relate to just about all of this stuff and would love any one of these cards if they were given to me too. So it's not just for the guys. But in general, if you need to come up with a card to give to one of the guys in your life, boom. Chances are you can find what you're looking for here. Thank you, Nancy. So this is what we're going with for the June class. I do need to know though, like I said, by Monday, who's coming. Now, uh, to recap, <laughs> the, uh, and I keep, you know, every time I do this, I keep moving all my paper away. Um, here, I'm gonna give you one more look at this. Looking sharp, my man, you're a champ. You did it. Oh yeah, I did see, I didn't even do that. Um, with the car one, there's some tools there. There's some more tools there too for the car guys. I do have, I do have plans. Here, I gotta find something to put it on. Um, I just hadn't figured out which, which, um, which, uh, what do I wanna say? Which pattern of DSP I wanna use? But I'm somehow making this, this uh, 
diamond that comes in there that says best dad award. I'm adding the antlers to it and I'm somehow making that into, I just can't figure out what goes behind it, but the best dad award with the antlers amuses me. Uh, so there's that. Um, with you, I've never lost. Nice work. You make me hoppy. You could uh, pop a little uh, bunny over top of this and that would work for an Easter thing too if you had it left over. Strong and courageous. Um, that, see, and this, this could be saved and put with a pink ribbon and put on a girl's card. Like this is not, you're not limited by this. Like I said, you will have leftovers. There are things you can do with this. Uh, okay, so he's the man class. How much is class? You know, Nancy, I want to say 40 bucks, <laughs> but I can't find my sign and I can't remember what I came up with. Um, <laughs> See, oh, the other thing too is if you would like to order the, sorry, that's where I got lost. If you'd like to order the bundle so you can have like the bundle at home, there was a price on it for that as well. Um, for the life of me, I went through all this stuff and I was doing all the math and I was adding in taxes and I was dividing by, okay, this many people. And I came up with prices because I'm trying this slightly different than I've done before. And for the life of me, <laughs> I cannot remember any of the details. Um, second here, let's, nope, that's not the piece of paper either. So I'm pretty sure the class is $40 for just the cards and it was 75. I remember it was 75 if you wanted the bundle as well because it's a $62 bundle. So basically when you add on shipping and GST to that, it comes to about 75. So you're basically getting the card stuff for free when you buy the bundle or you just buy the bundle or just, you, or you just get the consumables if you don't want the bundle. Um, sorry, the puppy has decided he's gonna come and chew on stuff in my, in my craft room. Uh, that's why his name is Rascal. I will, I will find the poster as soon as I'm done. I will take the pictures and I will post this right away tonight, Nancy. So it will be on here right away. I just, I apologize. I can't remember the math in my head. Uh, let me say, in Color Club. And don't forget, starter deal, starter kit, best deal going. Best deal going by far any day of the week, but especially for me. So I was a little rambly tonight, a little scattered because I was having so many issues leading up to tonight, but Checking Dana can be dragged. It is. And you know what? The, that would be awesome, Nancy. Um, and the, uh, the leisure center is super easy to find. It's like straight up Highway 28. It, from, from Tamara's house to my house is like, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes, depending on traffic. But the leisure center is like right on the main road. Super easy to find. Tons of parking, big rooms, big bathrooms, nice, spacious place to, to try our getting back together stuff. So would love to see that. If you want to, if you want to come, that would be awesome. Um, okay, sorry, the time delay. I keep going back and forth. Um, yeah, scattered. <laughs> there's the there's the name of the game tonight for me. Um, thank you though for hanging in with me and for showing up. And on Thursday, I will be making a fancy fold. So Thursday, we're just going to be crafting. But tonight, I had some explaining to do, and I figured um, instead of trying to write this all out and send multiple pictures, it would be easier just to ramble on about all these things. So you knew what was going on. So it wasn't as much a show as it was a tell. Thursday will be a show. We're making a cool card. I don't know what it's called. I saw it online. Um, I have yet to be able to find the picture again. But if I can't, I'm just going to wing it and make the card up as I go. Hopefully, I will find it again so I can give credit to the original person where I saw it. Because, um, yeah, it's a cool fancy fold. Can't wait to try. So thank you, ladies, for joining. And uh, like I said, I will take pictures and um, watch for those on on my paper pusher page here very shortly with actual prices and dates and times um, of the class, um, at least for the first one for June. And then as I, <laughs> thanks Nancy. And then as I get the, like I said, as I get the samples made for the other classes, I will post those ones as well. So thank you everybody. I don't know if, um, if I don't think Tamara's back. And if she was, I doubt she'd be going live at seven, but one never knows. So my, my six o'clock, uh, time frame I have to make sure I'm done in time to get off just in case <laughs> she gets on at seven um so I will leave I will leave you there thank you guys very much I hope I to see you back on Thursday if not enjoy the rest of your week thanks everyone good night